what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to state 48 turtle and tortoise my name is hayden and today i wanted to answer the question of who is state 48 turtle and tortoise that's my shadow that is scarlet the albino sulcata tortoise my very first albino sulcata tortoise i ever got but i wanted to take time since we've got so many new subscribers to tell you guys a little about who i am what i do how i got where i am today and uh, we're gonna go ahead and tear right into it first telling you about myself i'm from arizona born and raised and i grew up having all sorts of types of reptiles i had chameleons snakes we had mammals rabbits dogs everything and then when i was in junior high school my brothers and i bought some tortoises and we began to and i've got roosters and chickens over there we began to breed tortoises sulcata tortoises um and that's what kind of started my love and passion for tortoises for breeding tortoises when I got a little bit older, probably by the time I got rid of those tortoises, about 10 years later, I finally convinced my wife to let me buy some tortoises. And I went all in and got myself some albino sulcata tortoises. They're very, very dirty right now. We've been having freezing temperatures, super cold for Arizona, right? Freezing temperatures here in Arizona. This is Scarlet. She's very, very dirty, but she was my very first albino sulcata. She's soaking up the sun because she's gearing up to lay some baby, uh, some eggs. So we can hatch out some baby albino sulcatas but that's why she's soaking up the sun because that's what they do when they're getting ready to lay. But I got these tortoises. I've been raising these sulcatas, these albinos. I've been raising them for probably about six years now. I bought a group and I've been raising them ever since. We got our first babies in 2023, first eggs. Um, super phenomenal year. I'll show you guys some of the babies here. That is my reptile room. This is my property on a little over an acre here in Arizona in the Phoenix Valley. Um, I got a thousand different projects going on at once, so you're going to see trash and junk kind of everywhere because I'm a one-man show. I'm kind of doing everything I can, but I wanted to show you guys the chicken area here. We've got all sorts of uh, varieties of chickens and roosters, including saramas, bantams, all that kind of stuff. This is the chickens have this whole area. It's a couple thousand square feet. They've got a coop in the back corner, and this is my orchard that they live in. We've got all of our stone fruits. We got mulberries, which... The leaves are phenomenal for the baby tortoises. Um, just a whole bunch of different stuff here. Got a grapevine. We've got weeping mulberries. Just a whole bunch of cool trees. And I love trees. And then also it doubles as food for us. Food for the chickens. Food for the tortoises. Super, super great. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and head in here. I'm going to show you guys my entire collection. As you guys saw in the last video, this is their heated shelter. It got down to about 31 degrees last night. And... This puppy is insulated to a T. That is Jules, which is kind of one of my pride and joy girls, because look how beautiful and pure those pink eyes are. As you guys saw on Scarlet, a little bit more of a muddy red, but here they are, they're all waking up. As I told you, I gotta get one more sheet of plywood to finish this thing, but one more sheet of plywood and this puppy's all done. We've got a 1500 watt wall heater in here. Even though it was like freezing, literally freezing last night and there was ice on everything out here, I think it stayed at about 67 degrees in here at the coldest spot and up to about 75 in the warmest. So they did good. Um, I'm actually building another shelf right now. And I'm gonna move the baby tortoises you're gonna see in my other reptile shed over there onto this shelf because this area stays so much more warm that they're actually gonna live in here. I'll throw them in a UVB over the uh, shelf there and put a timer on it. But yeah, I just gotta get this puppy wrapped up today. That's something that's going to happen. So in the next video, you're going to see that completed. But these are all the albino sulcata tortoises. The normal looking sulcatas are um, heterozygous males, meaning they carry the albino gene. Um, so I got three, four het males, a couple of het females. This girl actually was my first female to lay this year. She laid 17 good eggs, but um, we've been feeding her really well. And the eggs were huge. And so she cracked a couple when they were coming out. But I think we got that issue resolved for this Next time she lays eggs in about two weeks. Um, but anywho, here's the rest of the albino sulcatas. A lot of you guys are familiar with tortoises and a lot of you guys who are new to the channel are gonna notice I have most of these tortoises have pyramiding. I bought most of these, um, these sulcatas that are very pyramided at the age of about eight inches. At that point, the damage had been done and you can only, you can only do what you can do and work forward. You can tell this girl, her pyramiding was pretty severe when I bought her, but the pyramiding can't just go straight and then go flat, right? It doesn't work that way. I mean, you can see on these side ones, 
we've been making phenomenal growth progress, but she still has pyramiding. It's a long-term process and she will always have pyramiding. But I was getting into discussion online with a couple of guys this morning who were getting, you know, we're having conversations about pyramiding on albino tortoises and how it's a lot more noticeable. Um, Cause you would look at this tortoise and I even realize it, but he's probably just as pyramided as this tortoise, maybe a little bit less but you don't notice it on the normal is nearly as bad. It kind of blends in more, but I could talk on this subject all day. I know how to fix the problem. My tortoises are healthy. None of them are so far gone that they are having metabolic issues, um, but it's not ideal. Most of it's aesthetic at this point, but it was on its way to being harmful to the tortoises. Um, but again, guys, I'm gonna take you into the reptile shed, show you guys some of the tortoises in there, but don't judge me. I've got junk everywhere. I'm a one man show. I do my best to keep things clean and organized best I can. We've got a couple turtle ponds here. We've got a snow redyard slider down there. There's some albino and charcoal redyard sliders under there. And we've got some babies that are going to Brian Barczyk's new turtle pond um, here in the next couple weeks when they get that project completed at the Legacy Aquarium. Um, but guys, this is my reptile shed. Hi. You are currently being recorded. Got a lot of cameras around the place, you know? These are my pride and joy. I want to keep them protected. But here we are in the reptile shed. Um, this whole ground floor area, this is a rack system. I've got water turtles in all of these and a bunch of these baby water turtles are going to be going to the uh, Legacy Aquarium. Um, let me see if I can pull one out for you. Well, you can see right down in there, a couple of charcoal red eared sliders and pet charcoals are going to be going to the Legacy. And then under here, I've got this all set up to keep humidity in and um, to keep the humidity in, as well as keep the heat in, because it's been getting so darn cold in here. But let me see if I can peel up a corner for you and show you the albino sulcatas, because it's gonna be one of these albinos that is going to Brian's zoo. But you can see they're all huddled up under the heat, loving life, getting nice and toasty. But it's gonna be one of those albinos that's headed to the reptarium zoo, the legacy aquarium. Um, I don't know where they're gonna display it at. It might be at the reptarium, but either way, Super excited to be able to give them that. This is my Wiltbanks incubator. There I am. Hello. Um, I have loved this incubator. It has changed my life in reptile keeping. We've only got our first clutch of eggs and it looks like humidity may be a little bit low. I need to crank that up. Um, maybe crank the heat up just a smidge too um, so it can keep up with how cold it is in here. But this thing is the absolute best. I don't worry about it. It keeps everything nice and warm when it needs to and it keeps things nice and cool when it gets really hot in the shed. But I usually try and keep it with the wall AC unit. I usually try and keep it at about 86 in here anyways. But there's the wall AC unit, that does the job. Um, we had a uh, cichlid project going on here but I didn't realize that um, these can leach zinc and it killed the whole project and that was a huge bummer. We've got one of the cichlids left. There she is right there. She's probably looking for a meal. I should probably clean the glass. Um, very basic setup for her but this is the reptile room guys and uh this is kind of a quick tour this is who i am Hi. i'm hayden you are currently being state 48 turtle and tortoise um i try to post at least five shorts videos a week um well five videos total right between shorts and full length videos but i really do appreciate your guys' support and i want to say thank you all for taking the time to watch my last video um with brian we're talking about brian and my feelings I really do truly appreciate Brian and the person he is um, and the encouragement he's given me and the drive he's given me to follow my dreams and my passions. Um, I am so grateful for all the kind words. There were so many of you guys that obviously subscribed to the channel, but also um, just left kind words talking that, you know, a couple people, I'm not gonna try and toot my own horn here, but a couple people said, you know, you seem like a genuine kind person yourself. I really do strive to be that type of person. And I really hope that in some shape or form, I can I can carry on Brian's legacy here in my own backyard. Um, but definitely guys, stick along, stick to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we've got a lot of big things coming. We're gonna have more egg layings of these tortoises. We'll get them on videos. We do live streams as they're laying the eggs. Um, and then we're also um, gonna be hatching some babies. The albino sulcatas are terribly dirty right now. I don't wash them very often because in nature, they don't get washed very often. But when the weather warms up here in the next couple of days, I'm gonna take a video getting a couple of these girls 
spit shined up looking beautiful so you can see exactly how beautiful these tortoises are because really doesn't do them justice when they are all dirty so anywho guys thank you so so much appreciate you guys stopping by appreciate all the love and support um i will keep praying for brian and his family super exciting to see noah on the vlog the other day um definitely uh really good breath of fresh air um but again guys thank you so so much if you want to support the reptarium um and the legacy aquarium i'll put the links down for for where you guys can donate to that if you guys haven't done so already um, but as brian always says if you guys can't donate to it can't afford to do it don't stress on doing it but i'll put you the links down there below to 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 go support them but appreciate you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and a wonderful week peace